Welcome to Bearcat Field in beautiful downtown Klein, Texas, and one of the four sites for the fourth annual Mike Farrell Classic Tournament. This tournament is the final tune-up before district play begins next week. Tonight's game is between two of the Houston area's top preseason teams, the Klein Bearcats and the Cougars of Cinco Ranch. The host Bearcats are 6-1 on the young season, having suffered their first loss earlier today to a Cy Falls team they shut out just a week ago. On the other side, the Cougars dropped a 3-2 decision to Klein Oak in tournament play yesterday, while defeating Cy Creek just moments ago. Christian Tripp gets the starting nod for the Bearcats. The New Mexico commit gave up a fluke hit in the first when the ball hit his glove and careened between players. But he retired the next two to get out unscathed. Brandon Box let off the second for the Cougars, getting on base, when Rainer Osmus couldn't come up with the play at third. Then with two out, Daniel Sabarzo lifted a pop fly down the right field line. That just falls in fair. And Box comes home for the first Cougar score. Senior Matt Esch is on the mound to start the night for the Cougars and got out of the first inning with the help of a 6-4-3 double play. Rainer Osmus got things started for the Bearcats in the second with this drive to deep right center. Hitting the fence a foot away from a home run for a leadoff double. After Kendall Jeffries walked on four pitches, Christian Tripp laid down a perfect sacrifice bunt to move both runners into scoring position. Next, Ryan Bullock drove in the first Bearcat score with a sacrifice fly to center, scoring Osmus while Jeffries had to hold at second. Then with two out, Esch lost sight of the plate and walked both Aiden Upchurch and Alex Klitsis to load the bases. And then he lost Travis Bond to force in the go-ahead run, giving the Bearcats a 2-1 lead after two. The fourth inning had all the fireworks, beginning with Ramsey Fowler beating out an infield hit when Jeffries snagged it too deep in the hole. Next was David Kaufman doing exactly the same thing with a bouncer that must have had eyes, and the Cougars had two on with one out. And then when Zabarzo squared the bunt, Cottle called for a pitch out and came up throwing. And he gets Fowler before he gets back. Perfectly executed play. But then Tripp plunked Sabarzo, and the Cougars again had runners on first and second. And here comes one of the smartest plays I've ever seen. The ball gets away from Cottle. Then he runs toward first, forcing the runner toward second. Enough, so Kaufman had to break for third. And Cottle tosses the strike to Osmus who runs down Kaufman for the final out. Wow, great heads up defense by Cottle and the Bearcats. He races the Cougar threat in the fourth. Then with one on and no outs, Aiden Upchurch swats a Texas leaguer into center. With two on and no outs. Then just four pitches to Klitsis and the Bearcats had filled the bases with no outs. After a bond strikeout, Tyler Flores jumped on a fastball and ripped it into right center, driving in Ryan Bullock and then up church. And that ended the day for Matt Esch, who yielded the mound to David Kaufman. Kaufman got caught on strikes, but then Rainer Osmus stays with the curve and blasts it into right for a single. Driving in Klitsis as the Bearcats opened a 5-1 gap over the Cougars after four. After collecting two strikeouts in the top of the fifth, Tripp helped his own cause, driving one to the opposite field, and it rolls into the corner for a double. Lane Fritz was the courtesy runner for Tripp, and on the next pitch, Bullock bounced one up the middle. And here comes Fritz to the plate. And he scores to make it a 6-1 ball game after five. 
The Cougars had a chance in the sixth to close the gap when Michael Harrell bounced one past the diving reach of Jeffries. And then Fowler worked Tripp for a free pass. But Tripp got two easy infield outs as he closed the sixth inning, scattering five hits and giving up just one unearned run on the night. And Tripp would then finish the night at the plate with runners on first and third, getting an RBI single up the middle. And then the game was called on a time limit as the Bearcats extended their season to seven and one and the Cougars slipped to four and four.